Oh, hello, and welcome to part four of the hair series. Um, today we're gonna be doing another home remedy, and what we're gonna be doing is another home remedy, which is vitamin C with dandruff shampoo. And we're starting with my damp hair that has coconut oil in it, and this is how long my hair is when it's not curly. And this is the closest, this is the closest it'll probably ever get to being straight. So, let's just jump into it. So what we need, what we need for uh, this remedy, I don't even know if you would call it a remedy, this, this hair tip, this hair trick, is vitamin C pills. And we have crushed them up into this bowl, as you'd see right here. And then, we also have Head and Shoulders Dandruff Shampoo. Green apple flavored. So now we take our bowl and the shampoo and mix them. Ah, ah, oh, it's gone on my jorts. No, I know, I just think right, look calling things jorts is funny. Okay, so. Is that, so now we just mix. Did you like equal parts? Um, I don't think it matters really. I got a lot of hair. Yeah, you have a lot of hair. Sorry, Jonah. Now we do some mixing with whatever this is called. This looks like um a new McDonald's movie. Ooh, it's foamy. What, is, what do you think of brown? I want to eat this. Jonah, does this not look appetizing? Now we're painting it on. This very, uh, it just it smells good and it looks like it would taste good. And I have seen this actually work. Like, but I've seen the ketchup thing work too, so I don't understand. I don't know if it's just because you have like a ton of hair. So like, I was really it's intense. not getting. Should I do clothes here? Yes. Yeah, I thought that was what that noise was. Yum yum. And there's like. That is tasty. The crushed up pill of graham crackers. It does smell really good. Mm -hmm. Your hair feels very soft. So they only sent purple? No, they're sending a whole package. For free? Should be here to borrow. Oh, yeah. You know, we could just do a brand deal with them. It's like Crest. <laughs> I love Crest. Crest is amazing. Now we are going to saran wrap my head because that'll keep it in, I guess. All right, and now we're gonna go eat. So I'm putting on this beanie this way I don't look like I'm, I've got like lice treatment on while we're going there. Hi. Good bite. Let's get that again. So we are back from eating and I changed my beanie just now because the yellow one had actually gotten a little bit stained with blue, which is a sign that it worked, at least somewhat. So it's time to test it out. Also, I put a wig cap on underneath of it to make sure it stayed in place more. I was worried it was going to become undone under my hat and that wouldn't have been good. Let's see what it looks like. bit but we I'm going to take a shower and dry it and then I'll show you guys what it looks like dried so see you in just a second all right so my hair is dry fully dry because I'm not sure if the windows in the background but you can see that um, it's bright outside so I took a shower and dried it air dried it overnight and this is what it looks like and I don't know what the footage looks like from yesterday, but I don't know, it looks, it looks different, but to me it looks like it's just a little bit more vibrant. Like it didn't add any color, but it didn't, it didn't really take any color, it just made it brighter, if that makes any sense. I think it took the blue out, but left the green, so it looks more minty, Maybe. In, in my opinion. I don't know, it's, it's definitely different, but it's not any, it didn't take it all out. No, it didn't take it all out, but it did something. We did a hair mask, and then we put conditioner in it and coconut oil. And then and then I washed it out, and it looked fine. 
And there was a lot of blue going down the drain in the shower, but it still doesn't look that different, so. All right, so what do you wanna do now? All right, I don't think any of the home remedies are actually going to work, like at all. I mean, I bought vinegar and baking soda, but I bought them cheap. That, that was like 68 cents, the, the, the vinegar and baking soda. Not together, but like individually, they were cents. So, I bought cheap things cheap things, but I don't think any of them are going to do anything at all. So what is our course of action for the next video? So our course of action is either we're going to do a bleach bath or we're just going to dye it pink and see how it looks, which uh, will be, it'll look weird, but we'll definitely do a strand test and see how that looks. Cause I pink, vote for bleach bath. I, I know. But everybody is telling us not to bleach it again. It's gonna ruin my hair. But my hair goes a, fast. I can just bleach it bath. We are going to use a lot of conditioner and the Oplex. We're gonna get the Oplex stuff. All right, that's good. And we are going to try to do it in the safest manner possible. All right. And then we're gonna go pink. We are going pink. Yes. The next video, we are going pink. We have to be pink. We are dragging this on. I feel like some of you might be annoyed. We're, we're nearing the end of dyeing my hair pink. And I hope some of you who came here to watch that stick around for the other videos. And also, videos that you would like to see, we'd love it if you recommended us stuff. Like testing DIYs, testing out DIY cooking videos and stuff like that. If, if you are interested in the hair stuff, comment other stuff that you'd like to see once this hair seize is over. That'd be helpful. Thank you for watching. Please comment, share, subscribe, thumbs up, follow me on Twitter, and see you later, alligator. Click these rectangles, watch the videos, and subscribe.